care, Chris. I, f I felt excluded. And as for cancelling the wedding... I didn't cancel the wedding. I just suggested we postpone it until Zoe's on an even keel. Oh, so in other words, her needs come first. No, but while she's so fragile, I... She's not fragile, Chris. She's tough as old boots. Can't you see that this nervous breakdown stuff, it, it's just another ploy to try and split us up. Well, it's not going to work. You and I are going to get married in due course. Oh, are we? Well, we want she has her way. It's no good, is it? You and her, you're like that. She and Joseph are my only blood relations, and Joseph adores her. Oh, that's right. Drag Joseph into this. <laughs> Morning. Morning. It's a beautiful day out there. I'll catch you later, Chris. Bye, Zoe. Is anything wrong? She seems... No, no, no. She's fine. Decided to put the wedding on hold for a few weeks. Oh, I see. It's nothing to do with me, I hope. Well, we're both concerned about you. My deluded state, you mean? You were rather tearful last night. Too much to drink. Anyway, thank you, both of you. I really appreciate your concern. But does he not realise how upset you are about the wedding? Well, he should do the fuss I've made. The whole thing is, Chloe, you can't say no to her. It must be awful having her back in the house. Oh, it is. It's like waiting for a bomb to go off. And you know what she's like. She's capable of anything. Do you think she still fancies you? Yeah. You do still fancy her? Of course not. She's a flaming nutcase. And I reckon the only reason she fancied me in the first place is because Chris is in love with me. What are you going to do about her then? I don't know. I'm going to have to get her on her own and... <sighs> ..tell her to butt out once and for all. Uh, where's Zoe? I need to speak to her. She's gone home. Home being where? Home. Farm. That is not her home. I think you'll find it is legally. Oh, why is she doing this? Charity, why don't you sit down? No, thanks. I don't want to. Well, there's something I want to say to you. Oh, right. And do I want to hear? I don't care. I think it's about time somebody told you how damaging all this is to Zoe. You're making out she's some sort of mad fantasist. Uh, she is a mad fantasist. Charity, I know that something went on between you. No, you don't. You only know what she told you. Well, what were you doing that day in the car? Talking. Look, I don't know exactly how far it went, but I'm quite certain it's not all in Zoe's head. Oh, right. Well, why don't you just go and tell Chris, then? Because I don't want anything to do with any of it. I told her she was playing with fire and she didn't want to listen to me. Charity, she is head over heels in love with you. No, she isn't. This is just her way of trying to ruin things between me and Chris. Well, it might suit you to believe that, but I work with Zoe every day. And I reckon I know her pretty well. And I'm telling you now, she's absolutely gutted. And that's not because her game plan failed. She's gutted because you rejected her. And worse than that, you've airbrushed her out the picture and denied what happened and let everybody in the village believe you. Do you know how that must feel? She was the one who made sure she had an audience. I'm not getting into the rights and wrongs of it, and I don't care what happened or what didn't happen between you. All I'm saying is she's not pretending, and she is really, really hurt. And I think it's about time you showed her a bit of compassion. Cut it out, eh? Oh. Sorry, I... I didn't mean you to hear me. Are you sure? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, of course I am. I... I didn't realise how hard it was going to be. Seeing you and Chris so happy at... such close quarters, I... I fooled myself into believing that deep down you'd... It was so stupid of me. Think you could ever really care about me? No one could ever really care about me. I'm such a horrible person. Oh, don't talk rubbish. You, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. Oh, the way I behaved. I am sorry. I was just so angry with you for not coming away with me. Well, I, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry I underestimated how much it meant to you. I should never have tried to make you come out when you weren't ready, especially not in public. I am sorry. I always told you that I never wanted to hurt Chris. Yeah, I know. Charity? What? Can I ask you something? I suppose so. Did you mean it? That day you said going with me had turned you off women? No. 
But I'm not a lesbian. Just as long as you didn't find it disgusting. No, no, it, it was okay. Actually, it was more than okay. It was fun. <laughs> really? Really. Good. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. But I don't want Chris knowing. Or anyone else in the village. And I'll deny that anything ever happened to me dying day. Lie through your teeth? Yeah. You're a brilliant liar. I have to hand you that. I am, aren't I? I'm surprised myself the way I pulled it off. <laughs> Chris is going to wonder what's going on, peace breaking out like this. What are you going to tell him? Uh, might try the truth. Not all of it. No, just that we had a chat and kind of resolved things. Yeah, I expect he'd be pleased. Yeah, I am too, to be honest. It, it's been vile these past few weeks. Yeah. Just remember, whatever happens, I... I only want the best for you. Oh, see ya. I don't want Chris knowing. Or anyone else in the village. And I'll deny that anything ever happened to me dying day. Lie through your teeth? Yeah. You're a brilliant liar. I have to hand you that. I am, aren't I? I'm surprised myself the way I pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>